Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Comic Book Burrito Extra Beef. My name's Darian. My name's Landon. And today, we're going to be talking about a movie that has just recently come out. Um, and the previous Friday, from when you're see- seeing this on Wednesday, Venom Let There Be Carnage, the anticipated sequel to is it 2018's Venom. Uh, yes. So... Me and Landon had the opportunity to see this movie together, Mm -hmm. and we saw it yesterday. Yeah. Well, well, yes, we're recording this on a Sunday, so we saw it the day after it came out. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot to talk about, and so I guess we'll get into it. (laughs) Yeah, we will. Yeah. (laughs) All right, so what do you think about... Well, what were your anticipations for the sequel? Well, I, I mean, I was very, very excited for this movie. Pure, I mean, I love Carnage. I mean, who doesn't? Love Venom. Who doesn't? Um, and I actually, I actually, if y'all, you know, it's funny because I rewatched the first movie, AMI Spider-Land in review mm-hmm. um, uh, today. And it was like, you know, I don't know. I, I, like, I really did enjoy the first one. And I was excited for the second one, hoping it could be better. They can improve some things. And uh, I'm happy to say that they did. Uh, mm-hmm. But but if you didn't like the first one, I don't think you're going to like this movie. Uh, I feel like they might like this movie better than the first one. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know. The We're watching better. People like the first one more. The which fighting I, which is I better. Agree with. Mm-hmm. Yes, the, the final scene of the movie is way like the final uh, fight in the movie is way better yeah it's, it's not as confusing mm-hmm. um okay so out of the whole movie I can guess you'd say your favorite character is Carnage uh yeah yeah probably I mean Woody Har- Harrelson kills it as uh, Cletus Cassidy mm-hmm. and we should have also at the beginning of this said spoilers for this movie but if you mm-hmm. clicked on here to hear a review then you, yes, know, you've already seen it. Mm-hmm. And we, I mean, obviously, we got to talk about the end credit scene, but we'll do that a, a bit later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. I don't know. I mean, uh, what, what about you? How, how excited were you for this movie? Um. Well, I I thought the first one was okay. I wasn't really a mm-hmm. huge. I mean, I liked it, but I wasn't really like a big fan of it. And yeah, I got you. um, this one again, like when they first revealed it, I was like, okay. But yeah. like it didn't really like pique my interest, mm-hmm. and then as, as like they started releasing more trailers, I was like, oh, okay, this is interesting. And then the rumors oh, yeah. started going around with No Way Home, and I'm just like, okay, I have to see this movie mm-hmm. to like know if it's connected or not. Oh yeah, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we will. Well, um, uh, well, it, it was kind of. I mean. It was kind of cool. I, I'm surprised. And, but I just want to point out how happy I was of how packed of a theater we got. There were uh, a decent amount of people. Yes. Yeah, very, very decent, good number. I mean, I'm glad. I think it, I, I took a picture earlier. I believe it got like 90 million. It's opening. Yeah. Has our 90 million in the film's domestic box office opening weekend. So that's good. That's great. Yeah, that's better than Black Widow and Shang-Chi. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's I think it's pretty safe to say that Spider Man will be coming out this December and will not be delayed at all. Yeah, probably. Well, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad to see that. I'm glad to see movies coming back because I mean, I had a. <laughs> this is the first movie I've seen back in theaters, by the way, for a Marvel movie. And we with saw. me, I've seen all Marvel movies that have come out mm-hmm. since I, theaters reopened. I love- I loved it. I mean, it was, it was, it was, I had such a blast, uh, seeing people like, you know, seeing people as excited as us, you know, yeah. and everybody was freaking out with the end credit scene. It, it was, it was mm-hmm. great. I loved it. Yeah. It, it was almost a feeling I forgot <laughs> I had at one point. Um, so let's see. Carnage was, um, like, like you said, one of the highlights of the movie and, I mean, like, obviously, Woody Harrelson helps with that. But mm. what do you think, like, if anything about Carnage, other than the big problem that we'll talk about in a minute that I talked yeah. to you about yesterday, what do you think about Carnage made him better than the f- villain of the first movie? Well, 
obviously, I think a lot of it is I, I'm more familiar with Carnage than the other symbiotes. I'd say the other other symbiotes I'm very familiar with is um is uh, Scream, mm-hmm. and uh, I, I had to remind me, but a, a little bit of Toxin, just a bit though. And that's honestly yeah. it. Yeah, and um, Toxin was um, teased in this movie. Which I don't get, but based off the after credit yeah, scene, I don't get how that works. Uh, consider, uh, yeah, I was going to say. I mean, we're going. I guess we're just going to find out. Yeah. But um, I mean, I'm. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I think a lot of it is Rye is very bland. Uh, he's just like just solid gray. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And and plus the I mean, no, no offense to the actor or anything he was probably just doing the best he was given but he's just again he's just a very boring character character mm-hmm. but luckily in here Car- uh, well not even Carnage Cletus cast like Cletus I mean he's very I wouldn't say interesting he's just fun to watch uh, I would say yeah and I think that's a better a better thing to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's just like him talking and like the whole scene of uh, Eddie reading the note, and it's like his kind of like his backstory in a way. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that was really cool. cool. Yeah. And um, you know, so it, it was. I don't know, it, it's just I'd say those were key points. And but a problem with Carnage I had a lot with if uh, besides the one thing we will talk about is I didn't like the voice they really gave him. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I was, I don't know what I was thinking. What was going to be the? I was kind of hoping it'd be more high pitched. Because I used, to, I mean, I used to watch the '90s shit all the time. Um, yeah. and like Carnage sounded like a, like again, it sounded like a crazy person, and it was, and it sounded like really good. Well, I mean, he sounded, he still sounded crazy in this. Well, he did, but like I, I wasn't really looking for a high pitched type of voice. I, I mean, I'm sorry, I don't, I, I, um, like a really deep voice. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I think it could have done something different, but that's just a minor nitpick for me. Okay. Yeah. What, what about you, though? Um, well, I'll go ahead and get into this, because this is like my main like thing I could kind of criticize about this movie, is that there was really no real threat to the movie. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, yeah, Carnage I, I escapes prison things. before his execution. And he's mm. he's a serial killer, and he really wasn't doing much. Mm. Like it, and, it felt like all those guys lived through that. Besides, I'd say two of them: the warden and the guy where he stuck his like tongue down his throat. Yeah, not many people so, died. Mm, I, I honestly think that um, this movie should have been rated R. Or mm. I think it. Um, they drop an well, F bomb at the end of it. <laughs> mm-hmm. I know. I'm, surprised, I'm surprised they got away with that. Uh, yeah. I just, I think they could have just. <laughs> how, how do I say this? If they could have done something, like there's only two scenes I liked with Carnage where I thought it was like pretty worthy for uh, for for Violet was when he was escaping and that that little part when he threw the car off the bridge. Yeah. You know. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, like he was driving. I, I just thought it was like, I thought that, I mean, probably it's just like kind of minor scenes, you know? Yeah. But I almost wish there was more interaction with uh, Venom and Carnage. Like, there's a lot of. Uh, there was, yeah, there's one fight like, between Venom yeah. and Carnage. Mm-hmm. And I mean, I don't even know if I even needed like them both to fight the whole time. Like, it, if, they, if they just had the one fight scene, that would be cool, but at least I would want them to interact or something, you know? Yeah. Boom, but. And um, let's see. Um, Venom got to be on a lot of different people throughout this movie. Oh yeah, yeah. I I was thinking they were gonna like. I don't know how how I was thinking of it how it'd be, but I just thought I don't know <laughs> that, that party scene was actually kind of funny. Funny because mm-hmm. I. Because I mean, we saw the trailers. I'm like, oh, dude. The thing is, you're kind of led to believe almost that it's Eddie Brock going yeah. around, but no, he's like, he's on Venom or the symbiote or whatever is on the bodies of like different people. Yeah. So, so it was kind of funny him just <laughs> him just getting people just blackout drunk or whatever and just <laughs> leaving them behind. Yeah. When, um, let's see. 
I mean, I'm trying to, I'm delaying talking about the after credit scene until at the end. <laughs> I know, we have to think about this stuff. Like possible. Because um, honestly, it, seeing the end credit scene is almost worth it. Even if you don't like the movie, seeing the end credit scene is worth it. Yeah. Almost. But luckily, I mean, I had a great time with mm-hmm. the whole movie, so. It was a good movie. Um, Better than the first one. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, let's. I, um, we were walking out, and you know, there was uh, there was people behind us saying the first one was better because it was more of a surprise. That doesn't make sense. Um, it, it didn't make. I I can kind of see what they're saying because maybe maybe they're saying the trailer is not revealed too much or something. Mm-hmm. But even then, I think that I still think the second one's way better. Even if it, even if everything was shown off in the trailers. Yeah, trailer. I just. Oh, I, I just think the second one's better because I mean the I, villain a lot makes it worth it, and plus the um, Tom Hardy and and uh, Woody Harrelson being there makes it really good. Yeah, I realized this when we were um, after the movie that like obviously we could talk about the after credit scene, but like that's something to talk about. But like if someone say if someone didn't stay to watch the after credit scene, um, I feel like this movie is like. Normally you would talk about a movie once you got out of it. You'd be like, oh man, that was so cool. I love that part where they did this or that or whatever. I feel like this movie isn't really a movie where you can do that. I feel like it would be really like, there's not much to talk about after. It's like, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's one of those movies where it's like, you know, I'm satisfied and that's pretty much it. Yeah. There's not really like any amazing things that happen in there. I mean, (laughs) if the end credit scene wasn't there, I would still be satisfied with the movie. I wouldn't think it was awful or anything. And, um, again, if you gave me like two to watch, like if you gave me a choice, like which one would I want to watch? The first one or second one? I'd pick this one. Mm-hmm. Um, I'd say a little bit of the pace sometimes. I think I, w- I wish this movie was like 10 minutes longer or 15 minutes longer. Well, or what something. they do get done, they fit nicely into a 90 minute time frame. Mm-hmm. I, I think just, it was short though. Yeah, I don't know. It, it felt a little bit too fast paced for me. Like, like it's crazy how like almost all this takes place in like what two days, two to it's three like, days. It's like one day. Yeah, well, uh, like as soon as Cletus Cassidy gets a symbiote, it takes place in like a night or something, like one night. Mm-hmm. All right, and I just like I'm like no, oh my gosh, it's I don't know. It, it just felt like really fast. Yeah. Fast paced. Um, hey, I just wish it was an extra 15 minutes to have some breathing room or just have more explanation with stuff or something. I don't I, know. I think the main reason this one's better than the first one is Andy. Andy Circus didn't make the first one, did he? No, uh, no. Directed the first one? No. No. So I think he's the reason this is better than the first one. Uh, I would say the CGI here was way better. Obviously, I mean, it's probably just a coincidence. But I mean, I think Andy Circus might have had a lot to do with that. Poss- I mean, obviously. He's, he's, you know, most famous playing for Gollum and Lord of the Rings. So maybe there was a big part in that. Yeah. Of how to make how to make CGI characters look good. Uh, yeah. Venom looks pretty good in this movie. So so does Carnage. So I'm mm-hmm. I'm very I'm very happy to say that because he looked Venom looked good in the first movie, but there was some scenes where it's like, man, they could have done a little extra work on that on this part. Mm-hmm. But luckily, I mean, Venom looks great throughout the whole movie. Yeah. Movie. <laughs> If there's one thing I could change, but they can't really help it, is I wish they gave them the simple, you know? Yeah. You know, um, things, things can change, possibly. I think one, day. one another <laughs> kind of um, criticism of the movie. So they, they, from the first Venom, we got that song by Eminem, uh, the Venom song is like, risen <laughs> to popularity. Yes. And... Then Eminem said he was writing a song for this new one, and we're like, okay, it's gonna be good too. And it wasn't at all; like, it was not memorable at all. Yeah, I don't remember the first one at all. Like, I remember I left the theater and I was like playing the Venom song. Like, not even like the Venom song was that good. It was just kind of fun to listen to in a way. Mm-hmm. Hey, I, I was thinking that they were gonna do a song just called Carnage, and it was gonna be kind of like a repeat of Venom, but they were gonna change the words to Carnage and maybe add some few extra lines. In there, but nah. Yeah. Did not end up happening. Mm, yes, did not. Um, <laughs> so for that, this movie gets a three <laughs> for not having a good Eminem <laughs> song. 
Yeah, I see this thing you're talking about. It says Venom Let There Be Carnage becomes the biggest three day opening weekend of pandemic era at the domestic box office after grossing ninety point one million, beating Black Widow's eighty million. So I mean I'm 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 happy. I'm really am. am. Uh, pe- people people seem to be very excited. Excited, everybody was laughing a lot. I don't know, did you see any people's reaction in the theater? Like did anybody look bored or anything? Or you oh, think everybody- a, that old couple beside me didn't look too happy i think they went to the wrong movie <laughs> they were trying to see uh, uh they didn't even stay for the after credit scene yeah they tried to see adam's family too that's what it was that's what i thought we were seeing and you're like no we're watching venom and i was like oh <laughs> dang it we still have about like five minutes so we can get into the after credit scene so i'm trying to mm-hmm. Yeah, we're trying to. Right now. We're like, uh, we want to get to it so bad, but it's, you know, I'm willing. I'm willing to wait a bit. I Let's see. If there's one thing, another thing I would change about this movie, it would be the. Um, I, uh, I don't know. I don't really know how to describe it, but, but like a. Uh, hmm. Uh, I don't know. Never mind. Never mind. But uh, I. I, I don't know. I, just, I don't know if I, I don't really know what I want from this movie. Like, it feels it feels like I'm missing something from it. Does that make sense or no? Yeah. Uh, like, I, I don't know if there was another scene. I, want, I don't know if I wanted more of this character or that character. But there, um, <sighs> a lot, lot of making out scenes in this movie, by the way. I just want to point that out. <laughs> you know how, how, how a lot they are? I mean, I don't have a problem, but <laughs> yeah. there was a bunch. Was a few. I was like, whoa. Oh, it was crazy. Um, crazy. I, I just want to also say, whenever, okay, obviously, if you don't watch the previews before a movie, then you're a psychopath because that's how you know, find out about the good movies. But, uh, I gotta talk about the goat. Okay, so there's this movie coming out called Lamb. And so I get an accurate like depiction of what it is. I'm gonna look up this movie and read. Um, if y'all have seen A twenty four films, it, it is it is a movie made by A twenty four. If you know how those okay. films are, then you you kind of ex- you kind of know what to expect. Okay, so you can just hear from this. It's in a different language. It's in Icelandic. Mm. I mean, it says in rural Iceland, a childless couple discover a tra- strange and unnatural newborn in their sheep barn. They just, which is it's a baby sheep. A lamb, mm. and they decide to raise her as their own, but sinister forces are determined to return the creature to the wilderness that birthed her. It's a supernatural horror movie, apparently. Yes. For some reason, and it is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. Uh, yeah, I'm looking at it right now. The release date is October 8th. 8th, and... Um, and, I mean, apparently it has a pretty decent score. On, it has a 91 on Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, yeah, it's not going to read better. reviews. It does have a 91 on Rotten Tomatoes. It's got a 68 on Metacritic. It, it's it's weird. Um, <laughs> this is a review about it. I, don't know, like, I think it was so, like everyone in the theater was like, what in the world is this movie? <laughs> I mean, everybody, yeah. everybody got kind of a little, bit, a little bit uncomfortable, but I mean, I was, I mean, I was having fun watching it <laughs> just like because I, I didn't know what to expect. Like, they start walking it like a child. Yeah, it was weird. It's weird. It's really weird. Um, so definitely don't check that movie out or do check it out uh, if you want. I don't know. <laughs> I'm actually going to check that out. And plus that other movie, A Night in uh, Night whatever. In whatever. Soho. Soho, yeah. I, I got to see that movie. Um, we saw the trailer. We got to see the trailer for Eternals. And we got to mm-hmm. see trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home. Mm-hmm. And Very that was cool. Movie. See it on mm-hmm. the big screen. I I honestly get chills from that Eternals trailer every time I see it. The second oh, did one. Did you see the new one that they just put? The thirty second one they put out today. I saw you send it to me, but I'm I'm kind of saving myself a bit. Oh, it's like shows some a lot of the same stuff except a new scene with the Superman guy, Icarus. Oh, he's uh, like yeah. used to another laser scene, and it shows him outside with one of the members, like kids, and the kid goes, "Yeah, he was on TV shooting lasers out of his eyes. He had a cape." And oh. sound like Superman. And then the guy was like, "I don't have a cape." 
He better. He better put on. He better put on the cape. But, hey, um, I, I, I need, man. I need. I need. A, why can't Warner Brothers give it, give us something like that? I don't know. But we're like, talking about Venom right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> not Lamb, not Night in Soho, or Eternals. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so I girl. think it's a good enough time as any to get into this after credit scene. Yes. Yeah, speaking of Spider-Man No Way Home. Yes. <laughs> uh, this, <laughs> do you want me to describe here? How about this? Describe it. Describe just what happens. I'm just going to go like, through the entire scene. So yes. by the end of the movie, Venom and Eddie are on vacation. And mm. the F credit scene picks up while they're on vacation on this island. They're in an old, nasty looking hotel, like hotel room on this island. And yeah, yeah, they're watching. Yeah, they're going hiding though, right? They're like, like they're, they're there because of hiding. Is that yeah, right? I think so. Okay. And um, they're watching some kind of like Spanish soap opera or something. And Venom's yeah. like, this isn't one tease for a potential story. Or Venom's like, oh, uh, there's like eight million, eight billion light years of hive knowledge in, um, in my head or whatever. And he said um, something that would make you, it, would, it could like kill him, Eddie, if he knew all about it. He wouldn't be able to handle it. And mm-hmm. he's and he was like, I can show you a little bit, just a fraction. And he was going to, which kind of teases that. There are e- the e- even more symbiotes, and that the we could get introduced to them maybe one day. But mm-hmm. um, Venom says, "Here, I'll show you." And while that's happening, the room starts to shake, and Eddie realizes something's going on, and then everything starts to like <laughs> ripple, and every- it's like it's really strange looking. Kind of reminds me of Into the Spider Verse a little bit when stuff yeah, like no. changes. And it was all doing that, and this big light flashed outside, and Venom goes, "What's happening?" And then they're in a completely like fancy room now. It's like the same layout, yeah. but it's fancy now. Yeah, it's more and, it's more nicer than like. Yeah, and there's a swan man. like towel folded a towel folded into a swan on the bed. Yeah, and um, they're like, "What happened? What just happened?" And Venom gets scared because of the towel, and he's like, "Dude, it's just a towel." And then you hear a voice. You hear a voice on the TV, and it's J. <laughs> Jonah Jameson from the um, Spider-Man Far From Home after credit scene. And he was like, that's right, folks. Spider-Man is Peter Parker. And then it shows Spider-Man on the screen. Tom Holland, Spider-Man from the MCU. And Venom, they're watching it on the TV. And then he looks, Venom, like Eddie turns back into Venom. And then Venom goes, that guy, and licks the screen. Oh, my God. And <laughs> and then they like, this. a guy walks out of the bathroom and goes, what are you doing in my room? And then Eddie goes, uh... I don't, and then it just ends. So, Venom, Venom is in the MCU. MCU. Hey, Venom's in the MCU, everybody. And, oh my god. <laughs> okay, so, and here's the thing, though. So this, I mean, this, I mean, for one, it says that Venom was in like his own world or whatever. So, I mean, so I mean, do you think that he was in like a? I don't know how to describe it. Never mind. Never mind. Just go go with what you're saying. Anyway, I'm pretty sure the scene, he got tra- transported to this new universe. And I'm pretty sure yeah. it happens at the exact same time that um, Doctor Strange does his spell with Peter. Mm. And um, yeah, because it has like those yellow like lasers coming through, kind of look like uh, Doctor Strange stuff. Yeah. Oh man, that's so freaking crazy! Yeah, so Venom's an MCU, everybody. So we're yes. So it kind of leaves a lot of questions open for what the heck is going on with No Way Home. Mm-hmm. Home uh, is will Venom be the sixth member? I, I don't believe so. I believe he will be in a in credit scene scene. Yeah. But I mean, obviously, there's going to have to be a point where the symbiote or Venom get, goes off of Eddie Brock. Mm-hmm. So, and attached to Spider Man. I mean, we don't know when, but at some point, and, yeah. Um, I'll, and maybe I could be. I mean, Sony and Disney just signed a new deal, a new trilogy with Spider Man. So, will that be the next trilogy? Spider Man, then Venom. Uh, who knows? Mm-hmm. Do you think that? Are, are you, what do you think the chances are that he'll be in Spider Man No Way Home? Uh, I'd say, I'd say ninety percent. Okay. But don't, I mean, like, I mean, don't, he ain't going to be in there that long. He'll be in there for an incredible scene. That's, I mean, that's what I believe. Well, and this movie teased that he'd be in there. So, I mean, mm-hmm. and like, Tom, I mean, Tom Hardy was shown wearing a 
casting production crew hat That's true for Spider-Man No Way Home. So he he's in there, or or like or maybe he just, he just gave it to him or something. I don't, I don't know. So. Uh, I mean, that's all I really have to say about that. Yeah. Um, well, it's great news for one. Uh, yeah. uh, I'm very, very happy. These, uh, I mean, that that answer we or that question we've had for so long um, is finally answered. So he wasn't he wasn't an MCU. He just now was transferred there. Yeah. So. So Venom is a, I guess, a multiverse villain. I guess we would call it. Mm-hmm. Uh, I wonder if all the villains get transferred back, but Strange doesn't know that Venom got transported here. Yeah. So, so Ven- Venom Venom is left behind in the MCU. Venom yeah. has arrived. Yes, Venom has arrived. And so, so, would you? So happy. Before we get into the ratings, would you um recommend you would recommend this movie to somebody else? Um. Yeah, obviously, I mean, if you're a Spider-Man, Venom fan, Carnage fan, I, I recommend seeing this movie. The, um, I mean, I would say the humor in this movie was actually, like, way better. Mm-hmm. It was, um, I, I, had, it had, I mean, there was no burst out laughing moments, but there was a, there was a good chuckles, you know? Yeah. So, I would say that, and I mean, that's, that's all I need. You don't need to, like, you know, be dying on the floor or anything, but it was, I'd say the humor in this was way better than the first one. So and so again, it made that it made that another reason it was more enjoyable. Well, yeah. I, if there's one thing I really didn't like is that they killed off uh, Cletus Cassidy. Yeah, <laughs> Venom bites his head off. Off. I mean, I mean, it was cool, but like I was Screw like, this man, guy. Uh, I, like as soon as I saw the end credit scene, I was like, dang it, I, I want Spider Man to fight Carnage now, you know? So. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it's, it'll I happen. Mean, and maybe he already a, said it'll happen. Well, he said they would fight Venom, but he said they would fight Venom and Carnage. Like Spider-Man would fight Venom and Carnage. Oh, not Venom and Carnage. Yeah, yeah. He said he said it would fight Venom, and I mean, obviously that's soon. That's kind. Of, I mean, that's something we can look forward to now. And I'm very, I'm very excited to see that. Mm-hmm. We we haven't seen Spider-Man and Venom fight ever since 2008 or seven. I don't remember the year Spider-Man three came out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Topher Grace. We don't know that. <laughs> anyway, what would you rate this movie? One out of ten. Uh, or zero. I was talking to a friend earlier, and I, and I said a seven, Evan, but I think that's too high. Uh, uh, too high. Maybe a two. Yeah, you think seven's too high? You don't think seven's too high? No. Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, the end credit scene alone bumps it up like two points for me because it's just so. So exciting to see! Yeah, see, uh, um, I I, I want to say a six point five. Okay, I think I'm gonna give it a an eight. Oh, an eight, really? Mm-hmm. I'm surprised. Okay, because it's a very rewatchable movie, and I could watch it many times. <laughs> if, <laughs> just say, if it's just on TV, I cut thing. it on and watch it. Mm-hmm. Why not? Yeah, you know, what? <sighs> you know, I kind of no, I I'll, I'll I'll stick to a six point five. Uh, no, uh, no, a seven, seven. That's it, seven. We'll go with that. Seven and an eight. Mm-hmm. Seven and eight. Well, always, always trying to one up me. Yep. Me. Well, that was uh, I mean, that was all I got to say for this movie. Mm-hmm. Very good. Uh, yeah. You guys, you yeah, check I don't it out. Anything else to say? Um, yeah. get like another Cletus Cassidy in the MCU. Maybe there's a version. I mean, a there variant. are variants. Mm-hmm. What's the variant of Eddie Brock in, in the MCU? Topher Grace. The, um, Topher Grace, sorry. I mean... Hey, that makes... Hey, the Eddie Brock we have from the Venom movie can be a variant of the Topher Grace Eddie Brock from the Sam Raimi mm-hmm. movies. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Did you, did you see what I sent you about? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because you commented on it. I mean, I, by the way, you know, before we get off, uh, it's rumored right now that um, Spider-Man or like Tobey Maguire, Tom Holland, and Andrew Garfield will all have, or Toby and Andrew will have like forty minutes of screen time together. Yeah. So, and um, that's that's pretty crazy. If, if you ask me, I'm very, I'm not disappointed at all. Yeah. Oh, well, um, if it is true, uh, me and my father, we have a bet going on. If they're in there longer than ten minutes, and I was telling you, I'm going to enjoy. 
my steak and lobster <laughs> dinner. <laughs> so we we were gonna have a blast with that. But yeah, that's all, that's all I gotta say for about Venom. Let there be carnage. Uh, yeah, me too. So mm-hmm. thank you all so much for listening today. Had a blast. Movie was good. Uh, if mm-hmm. you want to check out, well, I say please check out our latest episode of the Comic Book Burrito. It is. Um, it was released for you guys this past Sunday on Apple and Spotify and Monday on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And it's a good one. We'll have another episode next week of Extra Beef for Ninjak versus the Valiant Universe. Our first little, or we're sticking our toes into the water that is Valiant mm-hmm. comics. Yes. And we more of that will come in the later future after Spider-Man. And then, and you know, the plans goes after Ninjak. We have DC Fandom, and then after that, we start the Spider Man. We start Comic Book Burrito into the Spider Verse. Yes, and we are changing the name of Extra Beef for about eight weeks. <laughs> yes, so a very, a very long name at that, but <laughs> we couldn't think of anything else. Oh, oh well. Thanks. Yeah, but um, I mean, that's all I really got to say. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so same here. Mm-hmm. You can um. Contact us, by the way, on um, normally we pl- we'll plug our Instagrams and stuff. I'm just going to plug the Facebook group right now because why not? Yeah. Um, yes. On Facebook, the Comic Book Burrito colon official page, a lot of interactability mm-hmm. there. Yeah. And yeah, I recommend going on there and joining us. Yeah. yeah. And you can also get us on Instagram if you want like more notifications in a way in case YouTube or whatever is not working. Yeah. Thing, so. And then that's but, about but, it. But, but again, me and you both, we recommend Facebook. It's the best way, it's the way to contact us. Mm-hmm. Or you can contact us personally on Twitter and Instagram. Yeah. Well, I guess that's it, guys. Yep. That's it. Yep. See ya. See ya. We are Venom.